Honey chicken with like some sauce on top. So it is like Asian. That was pretty good. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here at Miami International Airport and today I'm super excited because I'm going back to China for the second time. I went back in 2015 with my father. We did Shanghai, Beijing and Xi'an and this time I'm gonna be doing 10 days between Shanghai, Suzhou and Hangzhou. Those are two cities that are really close. You have to take the bullet train to get there and yeah, it's gonna be an amazing adventure. I can't wait to eat so much delicious Chinese food. So today what we're doing is we're traveling all the way to China from Miami. So we have to fly to Dallas. It's a three hour flight, connect there one hour and then a 15 hour straight shot to Shanghai. I mean, it's a long journey, you know, almost 24 hours, but I can do it. Are you guys excited? I'm super excited. Let's go to China. The flight from Miami was two and a half hours. It was super smooth, but it was a very early flight. It was completely packed because obviously it's Monday and it's a business day. You know, it's business class or business passengers flying here. And it was just impossible for me to film on the flight. I was right in the middle. It was really tight. There was no screens, nothing. I just slept for two and a half hours. Thank God I got here refreshed. And I only had 25 minutes before boarding onto my Shanghai flight. But luckily for me, my gate was right next to the gate I got off on. Like literally, I got off on like 8.20 and this is 8.23. So I mean, right there. That's the hardest thing about here in Dallas. Sometimes they give you connections of only one hour. And one hour is crazy because you board around 25 minutes before that. So, you know, it's, it's a little tight. It's, it's not so easy. When I came here in January going to Japan, I had to run to my flight because it was in a different terminal. You had to get on the Skylink. But luckily for me, I don't have to do that. We're boarding in seven minutes. I'm super excited. It's going to be a long flight. 15 hours. You saw the screen. 15 hours to Shanghai. I just wish I had a little more time so I can get like a brisket sandwich or something. Okay, so we just boarded the flight. Uh, we had about a 30 minute delay. It was all good. We were flying a 787 Dreamliner. This is like my third or fourth time flying it to Asia. It's pretty amazing. These flights are just incredible. I love the technology on the windows. They also have these incredible flat screen TVs, which have unlimited entertainment. I'm going to see what I can find here. And what I like the most is that I can plug in my charger, my laptop here, so I can edit and basically just work from here and get some work done, right? Dreamliners are the best. They really are incredible planes. You feel almost nothing. Thing. Unless a little bit of turbulence because of you know the wind and stuff, but you almost feel nothing in the air. It feels like you're just like on a boat, you know, just like floating. Okay, so for lunch we got some chicken, we got brownie, it's like a, I think it's a potato salad, got tomato with cheese, and some wine obviously. The chicken looks pretty good, it doesn't look so bad. I'm a little surprised because the last flight I had going the same route when we going to Tokyo, they actually had like Japanese food and they had Japanese drinks. Yeah, they don't have anything Chinese. Chinese food with honey chicken with like some sauce on top. So it is like Asian. Mm, that was pretty good. So the potato salad isn't so bad, but it's like a lot of mayo. Like a lot of mayo. The thing is you gotta eat all the food because if you don't eat all the food, you don't get fed for another like eight hours and you starve. Cheers. After eating our like lunch, Passed out. I slept for like almost five hours. We have, we have left. We have seven hours left. We're going over Alaska right now. That's an extremely long flight. Definitely worth it. I mean, what you gotta do on these flights is gotta work. You gotta watch movies. You just chill. There's nothing else you can do. This is just walking around if you can. I usually walk around like every like two hours. Walk around. Luckily, we have like one seat between us. Empty. I can stretch out that way the whole time. Very smooth flight. I slept a lot of hours tonight. 
Uh, I'm starving the only problem here with America is they only give you two meals and they give you like nothing like pretzels in between to like snack on. And yeah, I mean, one thing I don't like about American Airlines, I mean, I gotta be very honest, is the service. The people aren't so friendly. I don't know what it is. Qatar Airways, the service is amazing here. It's not so nice. Yeah, so we're still, we're gonna get basically like dinner now or breakfast uh, the next like hour and then we'll be landing in Shanghai. Oh my God, I'm excited, but I'm tired. So we only have like 25 minutes left and we're touching down. It's been a uh, it's pretty good flight, 15 and a half hours. We're arriving at like at 3 p.m. Shanghai time, which is like 3 in the morning Miami time. I woke up at 4 in the morning Miami time, so it's basically almost 24 hours in transit. We just had some breakfast, had like some noodles. It was like very, you know, mediocre. That's, that's the word. on the ground. So after a long 15 hour flight we finally arrived here in Shanghai. When we landed it was raining like crazy and then we couldn't even park at the gate so we had to get a bus. It was insane. I mean it was raining. It took forever. We waited in the, in the bus like 40 minutes and we got in. You know luckily for me I've been here before <clears throat> but if you haven't been here before when you get here as a foreigner you have to uh, get your fingerprint scanned then you go up and then, you know obviously they, they register you and uh, you have to get a visa. As an American, I got a 10-year visa. It cost me like $290. I got it back in 2015. And then, yeah, and then another thing I need to tell you guys is that when you come to China, definitely go to expressvpn.com before coming to China. Download that, pay for it. Pay for like the one month service or if you're gonna be here multiple months, pay for the multiple month service so you can access Gmail and all social medias on your phone and on your laptop. I mean, it's a must. And yeah, guys, I'm super excited for this trip. It just started. I mean, we're about to go on an epic adventure through three Chinese cities. And let me show you a little bit of China before I let you go. This comes from this crazy spicy one. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Crazy. Oh, what happened there? Oh, he walked, it, he walked in the way? What happened? If you want to get an amazing picture, come right here next to the Shanghai Financial Center Tower. And I mean, this image is incredible. This is like the images that people used to get with like drones. But from here, right now, I mean, the photo is epic. 546 meters high, 118th level. China, you've outdone yourself. All right, we got one of those. Yeah. Okay, so the way it works here is basically you just, you know, pick a bun, you pay, and you go and you eat on the street. There's nowhere to sit. I just literally set up my camera on a scooter, and we're going to eat here. Mm-hmm. Pork bun. So next up is venison from New Zealand, right? Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. This is Free good. range. Free range. Mm. Tender, right? It's Super good. tender. Oh, man. Venison is so good. So different from the beef, no? Yeah. That much? So I got a small portion of the spicy clams. It costs 15 yen. Looks incredible. So you just put it out. I don't really need to put it out with the chopsticks, but. Mm. They're not hot. The server is spicy. I mean, there is some cheese in here. These are phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> These noodles look so good and it's actually more like a dry noodle. It's not soup. Hers is soup. They are delicious. <laughs> delicious. Yummy, yummy. We're basically going in a big loop, right? We're about to go through this bridge, beautiful stone bridge. And then we're gonna see the fisherman with his cameraman. So he uses the, the cameraman to go get the fish. They come back out, he takes it out of their mouth, and that's his fish. Epic views, lots of green around here. So green. Like a Switzerland, Bosnia feel. Very green, beautiful houses here. 
And that's it. I hope you like this travel vlog flying from Miami to Dallas and then flying 15 hours right from Dallas to Shanghai. What an incredible experience flying the Dreamliner. This is like the third time I've flown them this year. 787 Dreamliner with American. It's an incredible experience. Super smooth flight. You know, awesome entertainment, delicious food. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Let's go.